According to the definition of pressure, the force acting per unit area is called pressure. Look at this. It can be written as formula this way. Pressure is equal to force by area. How much force is acting per unit area represents pressure. It means pressure depends upon two factors. One is force, another is area. If force increases, pressure increases. But if area increases, pressure decreases. That's why we can conclude that pressure is directly proportional to force and it is inversely proportional to area. But today I want to focus on this. Pressure is inversely proportional to area. The meaning is if same force is acting through large surface area, then pressure will be less. But if the same force is acting through less surface area, pressure will be high. In our daily life, there are many things, I mean to say many examples, where pressure is intentionally decreased by increasing area. But there are other examples also where pressure is intentionally increased by decreasing the area. Look at this. These are some examples in which pressure is decreased by increasing area. But there are, these are some other examples in which pressure is increased by decreasing area. Let's talk about each of them. Foundation of houses are made wider. If you have noticed, then every house has wide foundation. The reason is very simple. Area is intentionally increased, which decreases pressure because pressure is inversely proportional to area. Because of this decreased pressure, a house does not sink into the soil. Now let's talk about second one. Camels are used in transportation in desert but not the horses. If you know about this, the area of camel's feet is wider than that of the horse feet. Because of wide feet, the area is more, area increases. And because of increased area, pressure becomes less. The reason is, pressure is inversely proportional to area. So, Camel's feet exert less pressure on the sand of desert, but horse feet exert more pressure on the sand of desert, it sink into the sand. And so transportation will be uh, not so easier with the horse. And that's why camels are used in transportation in the desert. Look at this. Another, the rear wheel of tractor is wider. I am talking about the tractor which is used in the plowing of field, which is used to transport agricultural product from village to the town. So they have very wide wheel at the rear side. Most of the weight of every vehicle acts on the ground through its rear side. And intentionally its rear wheel is made wider to increase surface area that decreases the pressure because pressure is inversely proportional to area. Thus, due to decreased pressure, its wheel doesn't sink into the soil while plowing field and its wheel doesn't sink into the muddy road while carrying agricultural product from village to the town. Now, let's talk about another. Heavy vehicles have four wheels at the rear side. Heavy vehicles means generally we can talk about bus, truck, etc. Buses are used in transportation and we go from one place to another place, it, it is loaded with passenger and trucks, it is loaded with materials and uh, it's rear wheel, there are, I mean to say at rear side there are four wheels but at the front side there are only two wheels. Why intentionally four wheels are placed at the rear side? These four wheels increases the area which decreases the pressure. Thus, due to decreased pressure, it exerts less pressure. I mean to say, area increases, pressure decreases because pressure is inversely proportional to area. That's why pressure decreases. And because of decreased pressure, uh, will win puncture. That's why uh, transportation becomes uh, comfortable. Otherwise, it will puncture. Now, in the same way, there are other examples also. Uh, some of the tanks are provided with caterpillar chain. And because of that wide area, it can work very easily. In the same way, now I am talking about some other example in which 
area is decreased and pressure is increased. Just for example, pins and thumb pins are made pointed. You have noticed this, if it is blunt, then area will be more. That's why it is made pointed. It is more made pointed due to which the area of the tip becomes less and since area is decreased, pressure increases because pressure is inversely proportional to area. So a pin can be easily used on the paper and thumb pin can be easily, easily used on the board because of this high pressure. In the same way, knife is made sharp. Knife is used on cutting different materials. Uh, its edge is made sharp to decrease area that increases pressure because pressure is inversely proportional to area and because of increased pressure it can cut different materials easily. There are many examples you can source yourself so many examples just for example an elephant exert less pressure on the ground than that of a girl having pointed heel I mean to say if a girl is wearing pointed heel she will exert more pressure on the ground than that of the uh, elephant Elephant's feet is very wide and because of increased surface area, its weight force exerts less pressure. But the pointed heel of the girl, its area is so less that uh, it exerts high pressure. That's why pointed heel um, exerts high pressure than that of elephant's feet. There are other examples also you can search.